Hello everybody! Praise be to God and welcome back to Spy Fox 2, some assembly required. I know what you're thinking, Artie, you've shown off every path in the game, so what's there left to do? Well today I'm basically going to show off everything in the game that Somewhere I wasn't able to in the paths. So, we'll start by skipping and going to the, the ski shack. The first thing we're, I'm going to do is I'm going to show off absolutely everything, every single path down the mountain, because you can only take one path per like game. So I'm going to show what happens when you go down all the paths, which is going to require me to get those dehydrated skis down. I'm also going to make a save point here so I can just keep reloading. Feet don't fail me now. Skis, I mean. I wonder which way I should go. Which way should I go? With my Olympic ski ability, I bet I can ski right past those goons. With my Olympic ski ability, I bet I can ski right past those goons. Which way should I go? Which way should I go? Which way should I go? I wonder which way I should go. So that's all the ski paths. I just felt like I should show those off. They're all pretty cool. Oh, that was an unintentional pun. Not a very good one either. Alright, so for a lot of the rest of the video, we're going to use the debug menu. I'll show you guys how to activate that right now. So before we can do a whole lot of stuff for this bonus video, what we need to do is we need to access the Spy Fox 2 debug menu. Now to do that in Windows XP, which I'm running on Windows XP, not ScumVM. To run it on Windows XP, what we're going to do is we're going to go to start and run. And we're going to run this file right here, which is H-E-I-N-I, -I, which is located just on the disk right next to the .exe file for the actual application. So we're going to open that, and then we're going to go to Notepad. Now what we're going to do is we're going to find the thing that says SpyFox2. You also see that I have like my computer, and you're going to have basically one entry here for every Humongous Entertainment game. Find the one that says SpyFox2, then add the following line here. Say Fox times 2 equals C. That's going to add another line, change the variable Fox times 2 inside the code to value C, which is going to enable the debug menu. We are going to save, and after that, now we're going to go actually into the application and run SpyFox2 and we'll be able to access the debug menu. Alright, so now that we've got the debug menu activated, well, uh, to activate it actually in the game, so we change the variables value in the HEINI file, to actually use it in the game what you want to do is hold shift and press C. And bada beam bada boom, look what we got here, we can choose our path. So right now we're on the fly trap path, and we can make sure that we can just go right to the LaRoche uh, area. We talk to LaRoche, opens the world's fair. Solve the heal puzzle, allows us to actually enter the dogbot whenever we want. And then this only really reflects the regenerator path, which is filling the spy back with the particles. It, yeah, so there's some interesting. You can change the restrict the locks letter code and the number code. Uh, the dogbot activation code is there. Uh, this is the statue you've got to kill, uh, kill with the termite grenade that has the thing inside it. And this is the breath analyzer food. This is the one thing that I need to show off. 
onions. There's one last <laughs> thing you can do yet, and that is with the onion delight. So I'll end up showing that off. The next thing you can do with the debug menu is, so that was the path select, now we can do the room select, and here we want to hold shift and press G. So this allows us to go to any room in the entire game, <laughs> including the spy watch. So the red ones are on the fly trap. I'm sorry, the pink ones are our fly trap path only. Oh wait, are they? No, red ones are fly trap path only. Looks like the... Wait, maybe I got that wrong. A is... okay. <laughs> Oh wait, it's, it's by the letter. A is it's always on the path, R is regenerative path, F is flytrap path. Okay, I can't read. So this one, if we go here, the blinding, <laughs> we're in the light. And this is only on the flytrap path, so you wouldn't actually be able to walk here if you set the path select to the regenerator path. And we actually have the goggles now. Hey, going into the blinding path gives you the goggles. So I gotta ask now. Let's go to, uh, where's the cod? Okay, so he has his goggles there. Oh wait, do we not have the dark goggles? I'd like to borrow those dark goggles, cod. And I'd like to lend them to you, son, but I need to wear something during the act. At least they will take the attention off that shirt. Also, the last debug menu you can do is if you hold shift followed by the I key, you get the item path, so we can grab basically as many items as we want. So let's get all of the talk balloons. That one changes depending on what uh, you have, uh, or depending on which recipe you need to make. Uh, I think that's good. Let's ask the caped cod about the caped cod. Because we're on the flytrap path, we're not supposed to Here's have this. Here's where my notes Did that not work? Oh, I guess they don't have dialogue programmed for that. Interesting. Okay. There, sir, you have a stamp on your hands. No, I can't say that I do. I better stamp your hands so you can get back into the fair. There you are, sir. Have a nice day. Thank you. Oh, hey, the World's Fair is actually open. <laughs> but we can't actually get into the restaurant Excuse yet. Excuse me, sir. What seems to be the problem? Well, I hate to be the bearer of bad tidings. But unfortunately, I cannot allow you to enter through the service entrance. I'm sorry, but I can only let waitresses with proper ID in today. See? It has the, jo the job title of waitress and a matching photo. I seem to have lost my ID. Oh, no. Yeah, this is the last, uh, the third job that you can get. So there's cashier, dishwasher, and not clown, but waitress. Sorry, sh sir, but you're clearly a dude, and you can't be a waitress. <laughs> waitress. Au contraire. <laughs> I look ridiculous. Yes, you do look ridiculous, Spy Fox, because you are dressing in drag. And you can't pull it off. Sorry. This is a wrap. All right. Do, 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 do. So now watch, we should give ourselves a female name. But we don't have now to. Now I can make an ID card. Junkie. Helicopter pilot. Cashier. Journalist. Waitress. Muriel Carlton. Carlton. Rudy. Rudy. Nell. Chuck. Rusk. Nancy. Muriel. Let's do Muriel. <laughs> Booyah. Professor Quack's machine works perfectly. My. There we go. 
I, I went to all the trouble to actually get the ID, but we don't need to. I could have just used the room select like I wanted to show it off. Though, so, boom! Here you are, sir. One waitress ID card. Oh my. I'm so happy that you were able to find it. Let me guess. It was in your other pants, wasn't it? Why, yes it was. You must be psychic. If you'll excuse me, I'm late for work and they need me in the restaurant. Oh, I understand. I won't keep you any longer. I'll just keep your ID on file for you, Muriel. Keep up the good work. Have a spectacular day. <laughs> All right, so this is what I wanted to do. Now we're gonna show off how to get the onion delight. Can you prepare onion delight? Why, I won the French cooking medal of honor for my onion delight. Well, of course I can make it. Well, that is, I could make it. But I only have one onion right now. Can't you make it with the one onion you do have? Absolutely not. The good onion delight must be made with exactly two onions. Here, you can take this one, and if you can find another exactly like it, I'd be more than happy to make you some onion delight. Thanks, Chef. Two onions, eh? I'll get those for you on the double. Stir, stir, stir. Onion delight sounds like the least disgusting out of all of them. Okay, so we're in LaRoche's room. I'm going to show some of it off. Oh, wait. Not control C, shift C. Let's switch it to the regenerator path. <laughs> it just changes. Do we still have the onion, by the way? We do. Okay. So now, if we go to food of the future. Uh, where is food of the future? What are these over here? Oh. That LaRoche won't get away from me. I wonder what he's up to now. <laughs> Whoops. Didn't want to go all the way over there. Um, Nexus? Oh. Wait, do, but I still, have the, <laughs> I still have the onion here. Can I get another one? Can I please have an onion on a stick? Of course you can, young man. It's fabulous fun when it's food on a stick. Thank you. <laughs> the game is getting messed up because I'm doing the debugger. Okay. Uh oh. Is it frozen now? I think. <laughs> I think I froze the game. I think I froze the game because it doesn't know what to do because I had an onion in my inventory and then I just got another one. That's fantastic. <laughs> this is why you don't mess around with the debug menu, kids. <laughs> Can I even escape? No, it's literally stuck. I can't do anything. I'm gonna have to force quit out of Windows XP. That's... that's fantastic. Ooh, from Yucko. WHY?! Okay, so I'm back. For some reason, there's like, my cursor got glitched up because I did that, but you know what, whatever. Let's try this again. Although that looks scrumptious, I think I'll pass right now. Oh, shoot. Okay, I just glitched, I got the onion in my inventory. Not getting that onion again. Actually, wait a second. If I go here, can I say... Why can't I get double onions in my inventory? It seems... Oh wait, can I go down? Oh, interesting. Oh, there we go. Yeah, double onions, sweet. Okay. Well, let's go to the kitchen, then. <laughs> Here you are. Two big, juicy onions. Also, I haven't talked to her about this yet. <laughs> Wonderful! How exciting that you should find two so identical. They appear to be exactly alike. Perhaps they're related. Kafka's complete all-in-one ready mix, Onion Delight. Just add onions. The secret of gourmet cooking is careful mixing of only the finest ingredients. Hopefully, we'll have the opportunity to try that one of these days. Voila! Uh, what's that sauce on it? <laughs> Oh, 
Welcome to well, if it wasn't covered in a pink no. sauce, it actually could be decent. Okay, so... <laughs> Alright, so there's one last secret that I'm going to show off in this bonus video, and now I'm going to just preface this. This secret is kind of disturbing. Like, it's an unused scene in the game, and it's actually fairly creepy, so... If you don't want to see that, then just stop the video right now. <laughs> For those of you who really want to see what I'm about to do, alright, don't say I didn't warn you. So similarly to how we're going to do, uh, how we activate the debug menu, we're going to go back to the HEINI file, open notepad. Now, also here, we're going to do fry fox equals burn baby burn. Yeah, sounds pretty weird, but that is actually, I'm not joking, that is a variable in the game. So, <laughs> there is a variable in the code called FryFox, and that is the specific value we need to change this to. I'm not sure if you can actually trigger this in ScumVM, but this is the way you trigger it on Windows XP. So, once again, we're going to save, and then we're going to just boot up the game. Okay, so we've entered the new thing in the code, the FryFox equals burn baby burn. You go to this room in the regenerator path, and then you walk into this chair. And again, it's kind of disturbing, so just heads up. Yep, that happened. Anyhow, as far as I can tell, I don't think there's really anything else left for me to show off. I did pretty much all the rest uh, in the other playthroughs. I'm at the alarm. Oh, now it's a dog. So. I set the alarm off. I need to deactivate that alarm before I can get to that Wii World exhibit. Can you change the alarm, I wonder? It's probably not important enough to be have put been put on the debug menu. Oh, the, you can only actually have to destroy three of the statues. You actually can't destroy all of them. Only three of them can actually have the thing in it. That's very interesting. Hmm. Alright. So I guess that's it for the bonus episode number one of Spy Fox 2. Thanks for watching, everybody. Tune in next time. There's still one more bonus video. We're going to be playing Things from Space and seeing how bad I am at that game. <laughs> Look forward to that. And until we meet again, my friends, have a great day and God bless. Here's a fox who's beyond reproach. He's most and gadget galore. When the bad guy.